G'day Cobbers, <laughs> welcome back to the bush. In this episode of Lockouts for All Driving, we've got another travel buddy video for you. But this one, it's a little bit different. I mean, your phone hasn't had a cord for 20 years, so why should you travel buddy? Let's have a look at it in a little bit more detail. So all I've got here is one, two, three, four Makita, 18 volt, six amp power tool batteries connected in parallel. Now that gives me 18 volts, but 24 amp hours. And that feeds the step down converter there. And that's a 15 volt step down converter feeding the input to our travel buddy. But that's all fine and well. How does it actually perform? Well, first up, let's have a look at the preheat. First up, let's have a look at the travel buddy preheat driving versus tool batteries. On the left hand side here, we've got the temperature in degrees Celsius and along the bottom here, the time in minutes. Now, your driving took exactly 53 minutes and that's the blue line there on 14 volts or driving voltage and 15 volts well that was substantially less only 43 minutes and that's a 23 percent improvement now your driving voltage is very similar to the lithium battery voltage so those who think lithium gives you as good a performance as a 15 volt step up well, obviously not. You're down at least 23%, if not more, on your preheat alone. 23% faster. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. But the gold standard is the four frozen pie test with a preheat. So let's check out the performance there. So now let's get into the meat of it, quite literally. <laughs> now on the left-hand side here, we've got the temperature in degrees Celsius ranging from zero right through to 160 degrees. And along the bottom here, well, that's the time in minutes. And I had to take the temperature of both internally in the oven and the pie temperature itself. Now, after a bit of Googling, it gave me a result, a conclusion amongst different pie companies that a hot pie had an internal temperature of 74 degrees Celsius, which is just above my ideal temperature in, of a steak, which is 71 degrees Celsius. All well done. So I'm going with that. <laughs> I like my steak well done. There's no other way to have it, really. Rightio, so this is the internal temperature of the oven on the tool batteries on a regulated 15 volts coming out of that step up there. And this is the pie temperature when we reach 74 degrees Celsius. Now, let's compare that with the driving voltage of 14 volts. And that's our oven temperature there. And finally, the mustard line here, well, that's the internal temperature of the pie running on 14 volts. Now, that took 77 minutes to reach 74 degrees Celsius running on 14 volts. But our pie temperature running on 15 volts off the tool batteries, well, that only took 49 minutes. And that is a 57% improvement. So not only was it 23% faster to get to our preheat temperature of 180 degrees Celsius, it was 57% faster to heat up our pies to an internal temperature of 74 degrees Celsius. I, I didn't see that coming. This thing might actually be viable, but it's gotta be smashing the batteries. Harder than a game changing 79 bill smashes Instagram. <laughs> let's check that out now. So now let's compare the energy usage running off your car battery versus the tool battery. And I've used watts per hour here, and the reason being is it's different voltage, so you can't use amp hours. Now driving, that used 138 watt hours of energy for the preheat. And our tool battery, that used 129 watt hours for the preheat. So that's a 7% improvement there, not bad. So we use 6% less energy. It's not bad. It's not a substantial margin, but what about when we're cooking the pies? Let's check that out. So now let's have a look at the energy usage it took to heat up those pies from frozen, rock solid frozen, to 74 degrees Celsius. And again, we're using watts per hour. Now, driving 14 volts, it took 193 watt hours. And the tool batteries, well, they took 129 watt hours or a 24% efficiency improvement going from 14 volts to a regulator 15 volts from those tool batteries. Not bad, 24%. So there was 6% less energy usage on the preheat, but with the pies, 24% less energy usage. 
Let's check out those totals for our overall battery usage. So now let's have a look at that total energy usage, both preheat and heating up those pies to a piping hot 74 degrees Celsius, driving on 14 volts versus those tool batteries regulated down from that 18 volt or thereabouts down to 15 volts. And again, we've got watt hours here from zero right through to 350. Now driving both preheat and cooking, took 331 watt hours and our tool batteries 275 watt hours that's a 17 percent improvement in efficiency to do exactly the same things get those pies nice and hot <laughs> tool batteries for the win i say so not only was a 23 percent faster on the preheat and a massive 57 percent faster cooking those frozen pies up to that 74 degree mark we save 17% of energy usage overall. Turns out Ohm's law reigns supreme. Now, this setup isn't ideal for everyone. A lot of people have it mounted in the back of their four wheel drive or their canopy. But what it does prove, even if you're running lithium batteries, and I've heard time and time again, I run lithium batteries, I don't need a step up. Well, you do. It's gonna be faster <laughs> and you're gonna chew through less of your lithium capacity. We've just proven it. Anyway, guys, now if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Not once, not thrice, but twice. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. So if you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon. It's really important to us and you won't miss out on our future content. Now, if you want to support the channel, by all means, consider becoming a patron on Patreon and you get things like early access to our videos on YouTube. Either way, we hope to see you out on the tracks.